7.23 left in the game. Peterson, Sealing, Ramsey, defensive specialists out against the Ons line, face off inside the Buffalo Blue line. Now ready on the draw, Dion and Peterson, and the loose puck, Sabres pick it up, and Schoenfeld clears it ahead. Here's a break down the left side by Sealing, cutting in in front. He shoots wide to the right side as Rick LaPointe got back in a hurry. Hardy with it up to Dion, right wing, Sabres out. Dion's pass broken up by Craig Ramsey, and he clears it back out to center. Seven minutes to go in the game. Bob Miller with Nick Nixon. Kings are down 4-3. Here's Taylor for the Kings. Sends it back behind the Sabre net. Barrasso almost mishandled it again. It's behind the net, and Fenvis holds it against the boards and draws the whistle as Deanna McClellan tried to dig it out but couldn't do it. 6.51 to go in regulation. 4-3, Sabres lead. Now line changes. Again, Jim Fox uh, out with an injured right eye. Has not played the second half of the game. Won't return tonight. And this is forcing Pat Quinn to do a little juggling. He's going with uh, all the available forwards. And Phil Sykes earlier in the period did a little double shifting. Face off now with Nichols, Hawkinson, and Shutt out up front. So Pat Quinn juggling the line combinations because of the injury to Fox and of course all the major penalties this period to forwards. Kings with it. Left point. Englom. Englom with it. He shoots. Tip. Save. Rebound. Redmond overskated. And it's cleared out to center. Taken by the Kings. Here is uh, Englom ahead to Redmond. Redmond to shut. Shut. Drives into the Sabre zone. Felino breaks it up. Held in by Redmond. And it just rolled outside. And when Nichols brought it in, offside and Felino grabs Nichols and Checks him hard and then hangs on to him against the right wing boards. Well, what a drawn out third period this has turned out to be. Every 10, 15 seconds, we're getting a whistle, an offsides call, an icing, an altercation. And the linesmen really have their hands full. Tough customer out there, Mike Felino, 6'2, 195, number one pick of Detroit and third overall in 79. Runner up for the NHL Rookie of the Year in 1980 to Raymond Bork of Boston. Just moments ago, Barrasso made a save and the rebound came up in the air and Bernie Nichols in deep just couldn't control it. Kings are down 4-3 to three with 6.32 left to go in this game. Third game with the Sabres and final meeting between these two clubs and all, all the games have been close, gone right down to the wire. 3-2, 4-2 Kings and now it's 4-3 Sabres. Here's Gary Galley knocked down to the Sabre line by Housley and Mike Ramsey clears it down and J.P. Kelly checks Felino. Felino bounces off the check in the Kings zone. His pass along the boards to Perro, broken up by Ruskowski. Here's Terry to center for the Kings. Ruskowski throws it off the right wing boards, chases it down in deep. Housley picks it up. His pass is is intercepted by J.P. Kelly. He holds it in. He gets it to Phil Sykes. Sykes in the Sabre zone to Ruskowski. Terry in deep. Terry behind the net. He is grabbed and comes over to J.P. Kelly. Kelly in the corner. Kelly is checked there. Ruskowski pushed by Housley and a whistle by the referee, Brian Lewis. I'll tell you, to the right side of the net, somebody's flying, tackled, and everything else. And uh, things may be close to getting a little bit out of hand here in this third period. 5.53 left to go in the game. 4-3 Sabres. The last game here between the two teams went down to a minute 27 left in the game, and Dave Taylor won it for the Kings. Well, the Sabres forwards obviously thinking uh, the way that they want to preserve this lead because in that last rush, they had Felino go into the zone, but Lindy Ruff hung around the Kings' blue line to make sure that they had at least three players back, the two defensemen and a forward, to prevent the Kings from breaking out a three-on-two or a two-on-one. Face off to the right of Tom Barrasso. Dion out again. Both teams at equal strength. Dion on the faceoff, and uh, LaPointe gets knocked down. Schoenfeld behind the net, checked by Taylor. Schoenfeld and Taylor into the corner. Taylor bumps Schoenfeld hard. Dion is there in case the puck comes loose. And a whistle again. Get some quick whistles now by uh, Brian Lewis as he's trying to keep everything under control here, but Davey Taylor went into the corner there and threw some pretty good body checks against Schoenfeld. Well, every time players meet in the corners and we get a face-off, about four or five other players join in and do a little pushing and shoving and just stand around and they want to be there in case something breaks out, and that's really slowing the game down. And a tough grinding game tonight. 5.43 left in the game. 4-3 Buffalo. Face off to the left of goaltender Tom Barrasso. Dion again will take the draw. 
King setting up. Taylor's in the slot. LaPointe in the slot and off the draw. Dion shovels it in deep. It's taken by Dave Fenvis of Buffalo behind his own net. He comes around the right side. Passes up to center ice. Craig Ramsey with it. He throws it over now to uh, Sealing. Flips it into the King zone. Taken away by Taylor. He tried to give it to Dion. Broken up by Schoenfeld. His pass out to center. Now taken by Fenvis and it comes up over the uh, boards and over the glass into the crowd. 5.25 left to go in regulation. 4-3. The Sabres have the lead as they scored three quick goals early here in the third period. Well, after tonight, the uh, Kings will have eight more home games, three more on this homestand. Wednesday night with Hartford, Detroit Saturday, and Wayne Gretzky and the Edmonton Oilers, the slumping Edmonton Oilers. A week from tonight, Sunday night at 7.30. Tickets for those games and all remaining home games are on sale at the Forum box office and Ticketmaster. At center ice, Kings with it. McClellan, he is spun around and pulled down. No penalty call. Back down the right side. The Sabres send it into the Kings zone. And it comes behind the net over to Sealing. Sealing on the left side. He gives it back to Craig Ramsey. Ramsey behind the net. He gets knocked down by the point. Sealing with it again. His pass taken away by the Kings. Here is Hardy playing it up the left side to McClellan. Mack passes up the center to Rick LaPointe. He kicks it down into the Sabres zone. 4.51 to go in the game. Kings are down by a goal. Puck is cleared back out to center by Brent Peterson of Buffalo. Taken by the Kings. Hardy ahead to Dion. Right wing. Saber zone. Dion trying to get around Schoenfeld. Schoenfeld falls down. Dion with it. Pass up the middle. He is going to be taken by Sear. He's bumped into the boards by Rick LaPointe. Kings hold it in. Here's McClellan in front. Over to Dion. He scores! set with Brian Lewis this time. Mike Ramsey pointing to the ice surface where Rick LaPointe had tripped up one of the Sabres. His second goal of the night, his 39th of the season, number 16, Marcel Dion. Assist to number 27, Brian McClellan. Number 21, Anders Hawkinson. Time 15:30. The Hawk had the puck against the right wing boards. Hawkinson, as the Sabres had started to come out of the zone, and McClellan and Dion were in deep, and the puck came to Mack, and he was all alone in the slot. Here's Nichols down the right side. Barrasso pokes it away. Picked up by Shut. Sabres zone. His backhander broken up in front. Back come the Sabres now. Up to center and a hard check on Dave by two of the Kings. Shut and Hawkinson and an offside called against Buffalo. Oh, oh, brother. No place for the weak of heart out there tonight, Nick. And now the Sabres upset with Hawkinson. Well, the Kings, uh, one thing you can say about this drawn-out third period is that they're definitely not backing down from the Sabres. They're getting involved. Now play fair and McClellan. And, and uh, McClellan is just whacked. throwing a punch at Barrasso. Of course, uh, players from both clubs trying to help out their goaltenders. But oh. Brian McClellan just manhandled 6'4", 200-pound Larry Playfair. Mac no slouch, the biggest player for the Kings at 6'3", 215. Great job by McClellan. He just grabbed Playfair and pounded him right down to the ice. Mac doesn't get mad very often, but he did that time. And they're still trying to separate the goaltenders, I believe, are at the bottom of the pile. 
Russell came skating out, and then all of a sudden it looked like Ian Janice. Well, we've got something going on. Raskowski, Dion, Amel has a hold of, who is that, uh, Gary Galley? Or is it Galley? Let's see. I think see. it's Galley. Yeah, it's Galley. They've kind of separated everybody now except Galley and Jill Amel. Andy Ruff and one of the Kings on the boards right in front of uh, the Buffalo bench. We can't see who it is, but now they have kind of uh, cooled off. Dave Taylor apparently was mad at Ruff, but he's being restrained by another member of the Buffalo Sabres. Barrasso and Janicek still uh, talking to each other, but uh, they've kind of calmed down now. I don't know if it was Barrasso that was going after Janicek. We mentioned Barrasso. He gets involved. He got involved here last year, his rookie year. He came charging out of his goal crease, and Janicek had to leave his to even the score up. I think you're right, Nick. The Sabres couldn't believe that Larry Playfair just got pounded down to the ice by Brian McClellan. And then they jumped out to, to help him, and that was when Playfair was down on the ice. And these fans standing and applauding the Kings, they have come fighting back in the third period in more ways than one. Literally, they have. We've had, well, let's see, an altercation, Ruskowski and Mike Ramsey, Nichols and Peterson, Miller and Sear, Smith and McKenna, and now Playfair and Brian McClellan. This was the best bout. The heavyweights, the two biggest guys on the ice. Playfair, the biggest guy for the Sabres. Big Mac, the number one guy size-wise for the Kings, and he really was all over Playfair. And the Sabres, they were in the kind of a middle of a line change. It looked like there were about eight players out for each team, but the Sabres came to Playfair's eight first. The Kings didn't have to because McClellan was all over Playfair. You know, we have wondered on more than one occasion, Nick, what would happen if Brian McClellan got upset because he is such a big guy. Well, we just found out he got upset there and he took on Larry Playfair, 6'4", 220 pounds. Brian McClellan of the Kings just hammered him right down to the ice, knocked his helmet off, hammered him down. Mac is 6'3", 212. And with 3.53 to go in regulation, we are still tied 4-4 and we're going to get a pile of penalties out of this. Referee Brian Lewis is over against the penalty timekeeper's uh, bench, conferring with the two linesmen now. It's the while, first time. I, 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 would you call that a bench? I guess everybody was out there, a well, bench-clearing brawl. It's I, hard to tell because every all the fans stood up and we're behind the benches, and I couldn't see if players were off the bench or not. Uh, some of them had to be because there were too many out on the ice. Well, we got the whistle, and I'll, along the near boards, it appeared that both clubs were going to make changes. And that's when Playfair and McClellan dropped the gloves. They squared off, didn't get at each other right away. And then they started to throw them. More so McClellan throwing them than Playfair. Yeah, Ryan right McClellan only has 40 penalty minutes entering the game and just maybe one or two fighting majors. But <laughs> Bob, if he would get mean out there early in a game for a couple of shifts, maybe take a penalty or two. He would get so much extra room out there to maneuver because people would be scared of him. Well, he may get some extra room the rest of this game if he ever gets back if we go into overtime because I'll tell you, not that I uh, condone the fighting aspect, but it was just beautiful to see the way he hammered on Larry Playfair. Now, now look at Tom Barrasso or, yeah, Barrasso and Polino are uh, talking to some of the fans who are egging on the Sabres, and Polino just gave... Uh, <laughs> the <What>? Italian salute <laughs> to the crowd. <laughs> he is Italian. Well, look at him. He's still motion. <laughs> he should get him game misconduct for that. That's uncalled for from a professional athlete to the crowd. Jerry Korab, who's not playing tonight, uh, did that once in Philadelphia one night. And the fans now getting all over Felino. Well, we have quite a night at the fabulous forum. Polino still standing, staring at the crowd. Well, the crowd probably threw something on the bench. Now he's making obscene gestures. No call for that from a player. Now, meanwhile, the referee and the linesman are over trying to figure out all the other penalties. Now, I wish one of them would come over and see what an idiot Polino is making of himself. 3.53 to go in regulation. And the game is tied at 4-4. Four to four. 
Well, we know McClellan and Playfair are going to get fighting majors. The goaltenders are going to get two minutes for leaving the crease during an altercation. Janicek and Barrasso, of course, those penalties will be served by others. Barrasso uh, might wind up with a couple of more minutes for trying to get it to uh, one of the Kings. Well, leaving your crease during an altercation is an automatic two minutes right there. And as you say, it's hard to tell. I, I didn't know if the spare goaltenders were out on the ice or not, and everybody was jamming around, and I thought it was Barrasso and Janicek that got a couple of punches in, but... The way they were talking after they uh, got up on their skates, they were just talking uh, kind of... Uh, yeah, like they weren't even mad yeah. at each other, and so I'm like, not gosh, sure. I'm that... sorry, so that's why it's hard to believe that Barrasso and Janicek were uh, mad at each other. At least Janicek kept his helmet and face mask on, and uh, Barrasso uh, had his off. Barrasso is 6'3", 195, so he's big, one of the biggest goaltenders in the league, and as we mentioned, he has over 20 minutes in penalties. We'll add to that total here tonight. 19 years old, and uh, you might say he does it all for the Buffalo Sabres. Still no announcement on the penalties yet. We'll bring them to you from Dennis Packer, the public address announcer, when uh, he makes the announcement. And uh, we now have 3.53 left in regulation. Well, the puck went in the zone. Offsides is being called by Ron Foyt. And in front of the benches, that's where Playfair and McClellan squared off. So it was away from the play. Whether or not uh, one of the other provoked the other, uh, we'll never know, at least not uh, immediately. But they both dropped the gloves and started hammering away. The captains are over there. And Brian Lewis has assessed the penalties, and now he's explaining them to the two clubs. To number 27, Larry Playfair, five minutes for fighting. Number 30, Tom Barrasso, a two-minute minor for leaving the crease. Five minutes for fighting and a game misconduct. Number 17, Mike Foligno, five minutes for fighting and a game misconduct. Los Angeles penalties to number 27, Brian McClellan, five minutes for fighting. Number one, Bob Janicek, two minutes, a minor for leaving the crease, five minutes for fighting, and a game misconduct. Number three, Gary Galley, a five minute for fighting, and a game misconduct. Time of the penalties, 16.07. So everything equals out. The fighting majors, McClellan and Playfair, fighting majors, Polino and Galley, along with game misconducts, and the fighting majors to the goalies, Janicek and Barrasso, plus two for leaving the crease and game misconduct. So the reason why we got game misconducts is because that was away from the original fight between McClellan and Playfair. So we get a total of 37 penalty minutes to the Kings and 37 to the Buffalo Sabres. 74 total penalty minutes at 1607. Seventh altercation, seventh set of combatants here in the third period alone tonight. So with 3.53 to go in the game, brand new goaltenders. You don't get to get any warm-up. Bob Sove for the Buffalo Sabres. Darren Elliott for the Kings. And the game tied 4-4. Four -four. And let's hope we're ready for the face-off to get things started again. Well, Bob Sove in 19 games this year, a record of 10-6-3, and three, a goals against of 3.12. He is the older brother of Jean-Francois Sauvé with the Quebec Nordiques. Darren Elliott in 28 games this year for the Kings. 10 wins, 9 losses, 6 ties, 4.45. And if there's another goal scored tonight, these goaltenders are going to be the goaltenders of record. All right, Kings with it. Here's Craig Redman. Fires it down in the Sabre zone. Back behind the net. Solvay stops it for Dave Fenvis. Fenvis' pass along the boards. Roskowski throws a check there. Sabres come out. Ramsey leads it ahead to Sealing. Sealing trying to get around England. Sealing cutting in. Backhander saved by Darren Elliott. Stick saved by Elliott. On the backhander by 
high ceiling. Kings clear it back down into the Sabre zone. 3.25 to go in regulation. Game tied 4-4. Puck is taken by the Sabres. Dave Fenvis in deep. He's checked by Ruskowski. Terry took it away for a moment. Now gets help from Hawkinson. Hawk drives it into uh, Schoenfeld. He's bumped by Nichols. Schoenfeld's pass up along the boards. Taken away by Hawkinson. Sabres zone to Ruskowski. Left wing side. Over to the right side. Shot by Hardy. Over the net. Deflected by Solvay, I believe, who came way out. Now the puck taken by the Sabres. Jim Schoenfeld. Hardy got the puck on the right side and got a blast. 2.55 to go in regulation. Here's Taylor with it for the Kings. Taylor sends it into the Sabre zone. It comes around to Housley. His pass behind the net hits the back of the net, and the goaltender, Sove, falls on it and hangs on for the faceoff. We have been informed that Mike Foligno got a double game misconduct, possibly for his antics uh, to the crowd in front of the bench. So Foligno wraps up 25 minutes at penalties fighting major in two game misconducts so we get a total of 84 minutes just at uh, 1607 alone the breakdown of the shots and saves 25 shots faced by Janicek four goals 17 shots faced by Barrasso four goals against and they each play a total tonight of 56 minutes seven seconds 246 to go in regulation. 4-4 four, four tie. Kings with it. Shut shooting from the slot and a save by Barrasso. Kings won the draw to Steve Shut. And he fired from right in the slot. And uh, or I said Barrasso. Sove made the save. Kings had Dion out at center. Shut has replaced McClellan on that line with Dion and Taylor. Well, both clubs have to jockey their line combinations, but more so Pat Quinn because of the injury earlier in the game to Jim Fox, and now McClellan off. Polino, the only forward that uh, is still in the penalty box for the Buffalo Sabres. Face off again for the Kings. They've got Wells and Hardy back. Face off in the Sabres zone. Here's Hardy. Over to Wells in the blue line. Wells shoots over the net. Rebound. Right side taken by Ramsey. His pass up to center. Intercepted by Taylor. Taylor shoots it back down the left wing into the Sabres zone. Behind the net. Schoenfeld. Schoenfeld's pass. Right point held in by Hardy. Hardy's pass broken up. Kings have to get back. Sabres come back now. In the middle. Here's Craig Ramsey. Over the right wing to Brent Peters. And his shot just deflected wide. Rebound intercepted by the Kings. Here's Taylor. Taylor up the right side. He's checked as he comes across the line. Sealing picks it up. Here's Rick Sealing. He comes back in the King zone. He sends it in deep back behind the net. Chased down by Jay Wells. Reverse pass over to Hardy. Two minutes to go in regulation. 4-4 four, four tie. Here's Hardy to center. Hardy ahead to Doug Smith, but he didn't get it. Came on target. Stop made by Sove. He clears it up the center of the left wing to Lindy Ruff. Ruff into the King zone. Ruff shoots and a save by Darren Elliott. Elliott, the King goaltender, drops it behind the net. Kings with it. Up the left side now. Doug Smith to J.P. Kelly. Up to center ice. Chased down by Smith. Here's Smith in the Sabre zone. And it's poke checked off his stick on the left wing side. Chased down by J.P. Kelly. Kelly wraps it around behind the Sabre net. It gets caught in the back of the net. Kings try to dig it out. And just as they do, the whistle blew. 1.32 left to go in regulation time. The game is tied at 4-4. Well, the Sabres complaining that the puck got lodged on the back of the net after it was shot in by the Kings, and that would mean a face-off outside the zone. But Brian Lewis obviously ruling that the Sabres touched it or tried to play it, and the face-off will stay deep in the Buffalo zone. You realize back in Buffalo right now, they're televising and broadcasting this back. It's 20 minutes to 2 in the morning. <laughs> Face off to the right of the Buffalo Sabre goaltender, Sauve. Puck comes to uh, behind the net, and Nichols chases it down. Nichols with it, around in front, shot by Hawkinson, and covered up by the Sabres, and falling on the puck deliberately and getting away with it, Dave, Dave Maloney. Maloney. Well, you know they're not going to call that with 123 left in a tie hockey game. That's all there is to it. They never have done it. They never will. John Houseman should say that. <laughs> they never have done it. <laughs> 123 to go in regulation. 4-4 four, four tie. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast tonight. It has been a wild night at the fabulous forum. Kings and the Buffalo Sabres. Jill Carroll will move in to take the face off for the Sabres against the Kings. Bernie Nichols in the Sabres zone to the left of goaltender Bob Sove. 
and on the draw, Kings with it. Redmond in deep. Redmond centers it in front. Nichols couldn't get to it. Puck taken by John Tucker, the Sabres, and taken away by Nichols in front. To Hawkinson couldn't get a shot. Hawk on the right side. He centers it. Broken up. Sabres with it. Cleared out to center. 107 left to go in regulation. Kings take it away again. Ruskowski on the left side. Comes across the line. Shoots it in deep. One minute to go in regulation. Game time 4-4. Sabres tip it out to center. It's taken by Craig Redmond. Redmond back in the Kings zone. His pass didn't connect with Nichols. Comes into the Sabres zone. 49 seconds left to go in regulation. Here are the Sabres with it. Sean Fell to Perro. Comes back into the Kings zone. Taken away by Wells. Wells to the red line. Wells to the Sabre line. Wells down the right side. He shoots wide to the left side. And the puck comes up out of play. Jay Wells uh, taking matters into his own hands. Very rarely does he rush the puck up like that offensively, but under a minute to play, he thought maybe he could become a hero tonight. 33 seconds left. I'll say this. Since that altercation, the Kings have really had a wide edge in the play territorially. 33 seconds remaining in regulation. If nobody scores, we'll have a two-minute break, and then sudden death overtime, a five-minute sudden death. First team to score wins. If neither team scores, the game ends in a tie. 4-4, third period. Puck is in the Sabre zone against the left wing boards and throws in there as Mike Ramsey is there. Dion came in and threw a check at Rick Sealing and a face-off in the Sabre zone again. 24 seconds to go in regulation. Dion has been with Shutt and Taylor the last few shifts. His left winger in the penalty box. Big Mac, of course, for that fight. Dion ready on the draw. And the draw won by Brent Peterson of the Sabres. Deshaun fell. He cleared it up to center. Here's Brent Peterson with it for the Sabres. He throws it down the left side. 15 seconds to go in regulation. Back behind the net. Darren Elliott gives it to Jay Wells. Wells to shut. Shut up to center. Kings with it. Here's Dion. Eight seconds to go in regulation. Here's Dion trying to get around Sean Fell. Left wing. Sean Fell checks Dion. Two seconds. We're going to go to overtime. And the regulation is over with a score tied 4-4. Four, four, and we're going to go to a five-minute sudden death overtime. So a wild third period. The Sabres get three goals in the period. The Kings come from 4-2 down with two goals of their own to tie it at 4-4. And that's where we are at the end of regulation. Well, we'll try and recap the third period. We had five goals and just a, a host of penalties. The goal's 23 seconds. Ceiling. <laughs> that was a long time ago, that goal by Ceiling. <laughs> His 12th from Schoenfeld. The shot by Schoenfeld went wide. Janicek came out to the right of his net, misplayed the puck, it got behind him, and Sealing just tapped it in. That made it 2-2. And with both clubs shy skater, Mongrain scored off a pass from the left point. Dave Maloney set him up. Mongrain's first in just his second game. That at 2.30, and Buffalo had their first lead. Sear off a draw one by Tucker, spun in the slot, took a shot that beat Janicek up high for his 19th at 3.50. Buffalo led 4-2, and the Kings came back at 11.07, Taylor's 36th. So the Kings go to overtime for the 17th time this year. Kings defend to our right, Sabres to our left. We're tied at four. Next goal, if it's scored, wins it. And once again, Bob. All right, Nick, thanks very much. Kings still moving right to left. Dion out at center, facing off against Gilles Perro. Dion wins the draw. Draws it back to Craig Redmond. Redmond to Engblom. Engblom across the red line. Drives it into the Sabre zone. Sauve behind the net. Stops it there for Mike Ramsey. He feeds it up on the left side. Up to center ice. Sabre's Lindy Ruff. He shoots it down to the King zone. A bouncer steered into the corner. Sean McKenna goes for it. He sends it around to Lindy Ruff. King zone. Left wing side. Lindy Ruff with it. Ruff pass right out in front of the net and fallen on by Darren Elliott as he knocked it down with his glove and then fell on it just to the right of the King's net. So the face off will be to the right of Darren Elliott. 4.37 to go in sudden death overtime. First team to score will win the game. If neither team scores, it'll end in a 4-4 tie. 140 minutes and penalties tonight. In the third period alone, 54 to the Kings, 64 to the Sabres. Totals for the night, the Kings 64 penalty minutes. The Sabres with 76 penalty minutes. 140 penalty minutes called by referee Brian Lewis. 118 of those in the third period. Face off to the right of Elliott. 
Kings with it behind the net. Jay Wells, look out. It comes into the corner. Wells battles for it there. Sabres hold it in. Sabres, right side, center behind the net to Lindy Ruff. Ruff trying to check Wells. Wells picks it up. Jay still has it. Goes behind the King net again. Gives it to Hardy. Hardy to Ruskowski on the left wing. Roscoe bumped there by McKenna. Gets it back to Hardy. Over to Wells. In the King zone. Over to Hardy. Hardy up on the left side. He feeds it uh, out of play. It hopped up over the bench. Over the boards into the King bench. 4-12 to go in sudden death overtime. Bob Miller along with Nick Nixon. Kings and the Buffalo Sabres are tied 4-4. Faceoff will be just outside the King blue line. And back comes the line of Deion Taylor and Shutt up front with Engblom and Redmond back on defense. Deion with two goals tonight. Puck taken by the Sabres. Here's Sear to Schoenfeld. Schoenfeld at center. He fires it around the King zone. It comes to Shutt on the left wing. He clears it up to center ice. Taken away by Sealing and an offside against the Sabres. As Sealing brought it back into the King zone. 4.03 to go in the sudden death overtime. Wednesday night, the Hartford Whalers will be here, and there are tickets available at the Forum Box Office in Ticketmaster. And has this crowd had a great time here tonight? Three hours and 15 minutes. The game has been underway. Buck taken at center by the Sabres. Finvis ahead now, and... Uh, Fired by Brent Peterson into the King zone. Back behind the King net is uh, Engblom. He plays it hard on the left wing to Shutt. Shutt clears it out to center. Taken away by Schoenfeld. He's uh, hounded by Taylor. Puck comes to Redmond. Over to Taylor with Dion. Taylor to Dion. Saber zone. Down the left wing. Dion in front to Shutt. Covered up by the goaltender Solve before Shutt could get his stick on it. And now the face off in the Saber zone. And out of the penalty box, Larry Playfair and Brian McClellan. And Pat Quinn says, Max, stay out there. Go with uh, Dion and Taylor for the rest of this shift. So Steve Shutt comes off the ice, replaced by Brian McClellan. Face off to the right of Bob Sove in the Sabre zone. 4-4 tie. First goal wins it. Here's Dion on the draw with Brent Peterson. Dion to McClellan. Here's Max sending it toward the net. Broken up by Schoenfeld. 3.37 to go in the overtime. Ahead to Sealing. Sealing to Brent Peterson. He rolls it off Engblom into the King zone. Engblom chases it down the right side. Passes behind the boards over to Taylor on the right wing. Here's Taylor up to center. Here's Taylor. His pass deflects at the red line. Taken though by Engblom. Ahead now to Dion. Shovels it in the Sabre zone. Taken away there. Fenvis sends it up the right side. Craig Ramsey with it. Into the King zone. Taken away by Engblom. 3.15 to go in sudden death overtime. Here's Engblom to center. Here's Engblom to the red line. Crosses the red line. Shoots it to the blue line of Buffalo, but it hit the goaltender, Ryan Bozak. Or <laughs> linesman, <laughs> Ryan Bozak. Now a shot by Mal Davis is wide. Davis with his own rebound. Davis going behind the net. He's checked by Engblom, and Hardy picks it up. He's tripped. No penalty. Hardy hooked her. Tripped from behind. No penalty. You aren't going to get any here, I'll bet. Puck is cleared up to center. Chased into the Sabre zone and cleared back out to center ice to uh, Mal Davis. Taken away at the red line by Phil Sykes. He flips it back into the Buffalo zone. How did I get Ryan Bozak in goal? <laughs> Played there in Pee Wee's, didn't he? <laughs> I hope so. Puck is back behind the Sabre net now. Phil Sykes goes for it. Sykes in the corner with Doug Smith. Trying to get it to Smith. Broken up by Sear. Sear and Smith bump into each other. Puck taken by Dave Maloney. Taken away by Sykes. Hope checked off of his stick. Maloney with it again. He tried to clear it, and he did. Out to center. Taken by the Kings. Here's Wells with it. Wells in front of the King bench. Shoots it in. Glove saved by Sove. 2-10 to go in overtime. 4-4 time. Puck taken by Larry Playfair. His pass up to center. Picked up on the right wing by Sean McKenna. McKenna right side cutting in. Poked away by Engblom. McKenna with it again. Right wing side. McKenna backhander. Saved by Elliott. And the net gets knocked off the magnets. Oh, how did he make that save, Nick? He was screened. And the shot came through a tangle of bodies. And Darren Elliott made the save. Bernie Nichols pushed Phil Housley right into the crossbar. And that's why we got the stoppage. The net came off the magnets. But McKenna... After going wide on Engblom, had Engblom dived to poke it away, McKenna picked it up behind the goal line and carried it out from the near corner. A lot of backhander go, and by then a lot of traffic developed in front. Elliott made the save. I don't think he ever saw it. The puck came free and was just uh, sitting outside his goal crease, and fortunately he pounced on it before a Buffalo player. 
Base off to the right of Darren Elliott. 154 left in sudden death overtime. On the draw, loose puck. Hawkinson for the Kings. He checked by McKenna. Left side for the Ike Ramsey shooting, and it's blocked in front. Deflected wide. Picked up by Ruskowski. 4-4 time. Roscoe's pass ahead to Nichols off his stick. Poked away by Mike Ramsey. Taken by Craig Redmond at center. His pass broken up. Now it comes back into the Kings zone. Picked up by Bernie Nichols. His pass up to center. Bounces to the Sabre line. Now Jim Perro with it. Perro's pass to the King line. Broken up by Engblom. Ahead to Ruskowski. 125 to go in the sudden death. Pass to Nichols. Broken up by Housley. Housley for the Sabres. Housley to the King line. Oh, he is knocked down by Nichols. Flying. Nichols knocked him up in the air and down to the ice. Puck taken by Engblom. He sends it back into the Sabres zone. 110 to go. He in sudden death. Puck is picked up by the Sabres. Sealing down the left wing. Sealing against Redmond. Sealing. Cutting in deep and Red pokes it away and takes over behind the net. Who was it? Broke his stick. Nichols. Puck is picked up now with one minute to go in overtime. Here's Dion. He slides it to Englom to the red line. Englom to the Sabre line. Englom across the line. Offside. Kings with 53 seconds to go in overtime. Bernie Nichols was trying to check Rick Sealing inside the Buffalo Blue line, putting some quick pressure on. He broke his stick, and Sealing just bolted down the left wing side, carried the puck all the way deep into the Kings zone, and finally he was written off the puck behind the Kings net, and then the Kings came back, but offsides at the Buffalo Blue line. 53 seconds left to go in uh, regulation, or in overtime, I should say, and we're now going to get a timeout with 53 seconds remaining in the sudden death overtime. We'll have the postgame show for you. I think we'll dispense, unless the Kings win it, we'll probably dispense with a postgame interview. We have been on the air for quite a long time tonight and hope you have been with us. It's certainly been an exciting night here at the Forum. 53 seconds to go. The Sabres have called a timeout. And uh, we are in sudden death overtime with a score tied 4-4. Again, if the Kings uh, should tie or win, they would have played the three-game series with Buffalo without losing this year. And that's a credit to the Kings because Buffalo has the best defensive record in the league. They're fighting for first place in the Adams division. Buffalo, should they tie, will be two points behind the Montreal Canadiens because the Canadiens also tied earlier tonight. They have 79 points. Buffalo would have 77. Quebec Idol, 75. So quite a race there in the Adams division. Face up outside the Sabre blue line. It'll be Dion against Brent Peterson. 53 seconds remaining in sudden death. First team to score wins it. Here's Dion ready on the draw. He's got Taylor and McClellan up front with him. Wells and Hardy are back on defense. Sabres have Rick Sealing out. Craig Ramsey's out. Sean Feld, Mike Ramsey. Brent Peterson will take the face off. It's just outside the Buffalo Sabre blue line. Dion on the draw, shovels it ahead, comes across the line, throws it down the right wing corner. McClellan and Sealing go for it, and neither of them get it. It's picked up by Craig Ramsey of Buffalo. He comes around behind the net, checked by Taylor. Now Sean Feld, he's checked there, but he gets it up to Sealing. 40 seconds to go in overtime. Here's Sealing to center, bumped hard by Dion. Dion takes it away, throws it back into the Sabres zone, and if the Sabres get to it, and they do, we have an icing call against the Kings. Dion was on the king side of center ice and he just turned around and fired it into the Sabres zone. Now look out with the